One of the weirdest things about Italians is how religious they are. Who can blame them, you know, guys? How quickly Italians get very friendly with you, or um, should I probably say touchy? Hey friends, what's up? Welcome back. How are you doing these days? I am taking advantage of this gorgeous weather and filming outdoors because, I don't know, it just feels special. You know, everyone has their own quirks. And speaking of which, today I wanted to share with you some really weird things that Italians do, some Italian quirks that I sometimes find surprising even after all this time. Although I think they're also quite adorable, I won't lie. And guys, if you're ready to hear about these quirks, if you want to know whether you will find them surprising or not, make sure to subscribe by hitting the button beneath this video. And let's start. One of the weirdest things about Italians is how religious they are about dinner and dinner time. Now, dinner in Italy is usually happening around 8 p.m., sometimes 8.30 p.m. But if you are planning social activity with Italians, be prepared that if you have not planned the dinner in advance, they will probably go back home for dinner. Say you're meeting someone for drinks at 6.30 and know that it is perfectly normal if uh, in an hour or so they will announce that they are going back home for dinner. Or sometimes they can even arrange the aforementioned drinks at 9.30, so after dinner. Dinner plans exist. You can go out for dinner with friends or it is also very common to invite someone over for dinner. But if you have not planned it in advance specifically for the evening, it's probably not happening. No spontaneous dinner plans. They will most likely go back home unless you specifically planned it. Another thing that many foreigners find shocking I personally have gotten so used to it over the years and I love it now is how quickly Italians get very friendly with you or um, should I probably say touchy because it is perfectly normal to greet someone for the first time by hugging them or kissing them on the cheek although I would say most people will shake your hand and you know in an hour or so after having drunk coffee together, you will probably be hugging them too. What I'm saying is that, uh, especially if uh, these people know someone you do, say your friend introduces you to their friend, okay, they can shake your hand while saying hi, although hugging can happen, definitely not excluding that possibility. But yes, after you've talked a little bit and after you got to know them all in one seat, I mean, while drinking coffee probably, they will hug and kiss you as they'll do with their friend. It's just a perfectly normal way of things. And it's, it's how Italians uh, greet each other. It's how Italians greet other people. I think this is absolutely adorable and probably my favorite thing about, uh, you know, this communication style. Next up, some Italians are quite superstitious. And I know it's universal. Other nations are superstitious as well. But hear me out. When Italians would share something exciting with you, exciting news or, you know, a job prospect or something like that, they will clearly not want to jinx it by being too excited about it. So don't be surprised when your Italian friends will search for metal to knock on it, literally knocking on the metal or iron or something, you know, metallic. Uh, as to avoid jinxing the things and jinxing the, how, how the things are supposed to evolve, I think this is hilarious because I've always thought that the normal way of not jinxing things would be to knock on wood. And I think it's pretty universal. I think in many other countries people also knock on wood when, they, when they're being superstitious. But not in Italy. In Italy they will search for the metal. Maybe that's why most of the benches here are made of metal. I think that is the reason, you know. Imagine they were being made of wood. It would make no sense at all. Anyway, guys, uh, let me know. I'd be so curious to know if in your country there is this superstition to knock on something uh, as not to jinx the things. And what are you knocking on? Last but not least, going back to the Italian obsession with dinner, I think this obsession actually spans way over because Italians are obsessed with food. And it makes sense, of course. I mean, they live in the country with probably the best cuisine in the world. Why wouldn't they? But what I mean is that they will talk about food quite a lot. It's very common when you meet your Italian friends to, you know, talk about food. Um, if you're telling about a trip you've made, they will definitely ask you, what did you eat there? And they will want to uh, go into more detail on that. Or they would just 
discuss food options with you and dinner stuff and all these kinds of things what you like to eat what you don't like to eat what you cook last week for dinner or something like that and their obsession with food goes even further sometimes not only they do not switch up the traditional dishes with something new which also kind of makes sense to me but i also met italians who say that they would love to but their mother would probably kill them for it but they also sometimes take their own food when they are traveling or you know when they travel somewhere some italians would go to the italian place to eat italian food who can blame them you know guys it is perfectly normal here and if you live in italy guys or have lived here in the past let me know what italian quirks you find weird but also adorable because they are right and guys if you want to learn more about italian traditions quirks superstitions way of life and traveling to italy make sure to follow me on instagram if you didn't know i have an instagram account where i share even more things than here sometimes just you know regular life in Italy stuff and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I post travel vlogs and expert life things and a lot of interesting and really curious information for you also like and comment this video because I always 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 read your comments and always do my best to respond as soon as possible I love chatting to you thank you so much for being here please enjoy your day enjoy your travels and enjoy Italy